Hey everyone, it's Brittany. I'm here today with Senior. He'll be joining us for class. Today is part two of our two-part series on unlocking tight hips through gravity yoga. Gravity yoga is targeted mobility training. It involves holding stretches for a longer period of time, and we do so passively and relaxed so that gravity does most of the work. Today you'll need a mat or somewhere soft to work on, blocks, if you don't have blocks you can grab a pillow, and wall space. We'll be working with the wall a little bit later on. So we'll get started in a comfortable seated position. You can put your hands on your knees, close your eyes, bring your chin parallel to the earth, and we're going to begin class with our four to eight breath. That's inhaling through the nose on the count of four and exhaling through the mouth to the count of eight. And on both the inhale and the exhale, we create a slight constriction in the back of the throat. So it sounds a little bit like and the exhale, like you're fogging up a mirror. So we'll get started. Hands relax on your knees, close your eyes. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Begin to breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And when we exhale longer than the inhale, we help to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. And this helps to relax the stretch reflex. So we'll be circling back to that breath throughout class. And we'll get started standing up. So go ahead and stand. Feet are slightly wider than your hips. And we're gonna begin with moon squats just so we can warm up our muscles and our joints. Sit back into a squat. You can uh, be here where your knees are or you can come down a little bit deeper. Cross your forearms, make fist. Take a deep breath in. Reach up, uncross your arms, spread your fingers, open your chest. And then exhale, sit back down, cross the forearms, make fists, drop your head. Breathe in, expand, open up. And then exhale, make fists, cross your forearms, drop your head. Inhale, straighten, reach. Exhale, bring your forearms together, make fists. And one more time, breathe in, straighten your arms, open the chest. Exhale, cross the forearms, make fists. And then relax your hands, stay in your squat, relax your head for a moment. And we'll take that one more time, cross the forearms, make fists. Breathe in, uncross. Exhale, sit back, weights in the heels. Inhale, back open. Exhale, sit back. Breathe in, spread your fingers. Exhale, sit back, cross your forearms. And one more time, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, cross the forearms. And slowly roll all the way up to stand. And bring your feet closer together, about hip distance apart. Breathe in, sweep your arms up to the sky. Reach for your right wrist. And then exhale, bend over towards your left side. Press your hips towards the right. And breathe in, come that center. Exhale, reach for your opposite wrist. And then bend over towards your opposite side. Good, come back through center. 
Open your arms, slowly swan dive down. Relax your head down, bend into your knees as much as you need to for ragdoll. So feet are about hip distance apart. The outer edges of your feet are parallel and you're going to reach for opposite elbows. If this becomes too intense, you can release your hands down to the earth and ground down through your feet, but let your back and chest and head fall heavy here. And then come back to the breath. Breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale back through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And if you struggle to breathe out all the way to the count of eight, try breathing out just very slowly and controlled, but continue the deepening of your breath. Relax your head down. We're opening up into the hamstrings here, the three plus one muscles in the back of your thigh. Luckily, since there's only three plus one, there's three big ones and a smaller one. They're a little bit easier to open up than our hips. Our hips have over 17 muscles in them. So they're a little bit more complex. Continue to breathe. We're almost there. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Good, relax your hands down to the earth. Now bring your feet out slightly wider than the hips, toes out, and then sink your hips down, down, down. And bring your hands to prayer. And then relax your hands down. And drop your head down in a deep squat. Relax your head, relax your neck. And return back to the breath. Inhale through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. So the first part of principle, the first principle of gravity yoga is the 48 breath. The second principle is wet noodle. So you're trying to relax as much as you can into these stretches because our muscles stretch better when they're relaxed. And keep your weight in the heels. And continue to breathe. Good, now bring your hands to the earth, palms down, and bring your knees back to the earth. Now sweep your legs around. We're gonna be coming into double pigeon, so you're gonna bend your right knee, and then you're gonna take your left leg and stack it on top of the right. So you want your right knee on top of the left foot, or your left foot on top of the right knee. Seniors will be taking a modification where right now where he's at is crossing his feet. So shins will be parallel, and you want the foot and knees stacked on one another. Lean forward, bring your hands up, and then relax your head down. This is called double pigeon. We're getting into deep lateral and flexion of the hip joints. And use your elbows here to press the knees down further. Relax your head. And continue with the breath. Inhale through the nose. One, 
two, three, four. Exhale through the mouth, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through the nose, one, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Continue to breathe and soften into your body as much as you can. Your job is just to find the stretch, maintain it, breathe into it, and stay with it as long as we're in it. The third part principle of gravity yoga is to meet or beat your whole time. So you wanna stay with it as long as we are, but if you need to tap out, that's okay. The next time you're just going to either make it that long or a little bit further. And it's okay if your knees are up off the earth. The nice thing about gravity yoga is that there's no way the pose is supposed to look. We all are built differently. It's the practice that's the purpose, just getting through it. Rounding into our last minute here. Continue to breathe. Inhale through the nose. And then open mouth, exhale. Sigh it all out. Good, almost there. And slowly start coming out of that. Press up, bring your hands behind you and cross your legs, bend your knees, soles of the feet on the earth and just kind of windshield wiper them, shake it. Move it back and forth. And we're gonna take that on the opposite nut side now. So left leg is bent. Take your right leg and put it on top of the left. So right foot is on top of left knee and then left knee is on top of right foot. Or you can take it where senior's at where he's crossing his ankles and that's fine too. And then you're gonna bring your forearms down to the knees, palms up and relax the head down. And deepen into the breath, find your stretch. Protect the knees too, flex the feet as much as you need to to protect the knee joints. Just find your deep stretch and then stay with it. Focus back into the breath. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And this is a really great pose if sitting on the ground's uncomfortable, because it is really uncomfortable for a lot of people. So this is a nice one where we're working the lateral and the flexion of the hips, which both you need in order to be able to sit down comfortably. Remember, wet noodle. Relax into this as much as you can. And if you need to adjust, if your ankles are getting too close to the groin, bring it back further because you do want the shins as parallel to the top of the mat as you possibly can today. Continue to relax the head down. And deepen back into the breath. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four, 
three, four, open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And just continue to relax into this. In the last minute now, almost there, doing great. Find your breath if you've lost it. Good. Now slowly come out of that. Bring your hands to the earth behind you and cross your legs, soles of the feet on the ground, and then windshield wiper. Your legs back and forth. And then come onto your knees, your hands in your knees for tabletop. Tuck your toes, and then press your hips up and back for down dog. Bend one knee, and then the other, relax your head down. And then slowly bring your knees down to the earth. Now we're gonna take our mats over to the wall. You'll need to bring a mat or a pillow, something soft and wax if you have them. Okay, we are gonna get into Jack knife blaster. You're gonna take your right leg and bring the right knee to where the floor and wall meet. Now, if you're not quite there today, go ahead and take it a little bit off the wall. But you wanna get your shin up to the wall as much as you can as well, and then toes point up. Okay, now you're gonna take that front knee and lunge it forward. And you can use your hand to move it up because you want that front ankle underneath the knee, the front knee, or even a little bit in front of it, in front of it as well. So you can see. Okay, good. Now you can use your blocks for support. You can bring your hands to blocks or you can bring your hands to the earth or even come down to your forearms. So jackknife blaster is really intense with the back leg bent. We're getting deep hip extension in the back leg and deep hip flexion in the front with a little bit of lateral rotation. We're also stretching into the glutes and the iliopsoas. So nice and intense and very effective. And drop the head down. You don't want to be feeling this too much in your arms either. So relax into the arms as much as you can. Close your eyes. Press the weight evenly in your front foot. And then lean forward. And continue to drive the shin up towards the wall. And starting to deepen back into your breath. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. 
Good. Continue to let your head fall heavy. It's also an intense stretch in the back quad. So the top of your back thigh. And you're also feeling it in the bottom of your front thigh, your hamstrings. Good job, guys. Keep going. You're almost there. Just a few more seconds. Good, now slowly, slowly bring your back foot off the wall. Now bend both knees, bring your knees to the earth. Knees out wide, big toes touch. Bring your hands forward and take a child's pose. Good, now we'll switch to the other side. Bring your left leg up to the wall. Left knee goes to where the wall and floor meet. Shin flushes up towards the wall and toes point up. Now bring that front leg, lunge it forward. Use your hands if you need to, to move it up. You want that front ankle in line with the front knee or a little bit in front of it. Hands on blocks if you need them, or you can bring your hands to the earth or option to come down to your forearms. For jackknife blaster. Just close your eyes, relax your head. Tap into your deep breath. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Now these deep hip stretches are systemic, meaning you can sometimes feel them in other parts of your body. So it's totally normal if you're feeling it in your ankle, your calf, shin even. You just don't wanna feel any sharp joint pain come out of it if you're feeling anything like that, but if it's just a lot of muscle discomfort, breathe through it and stay with us. And remember, you don't want to feel this too much in your arms, so bend your arms as much as you need to. We're really feeling this in the top of the back thigh. Approaching the last minute here. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Remember, wet noodles, so try to relax your muscles as much as you can into this. Almost there, you got it. Breathe, breathe and soften. And 
Send breath to your lower body where you're feeling the stretch the most. Good, we're almost there. Mm, slowly, slowly, slowly start to come out of that. Bring your knees down to the earth. Slowly remove your back leg off the wall. Now bring your feet in front of you. Bend your knees, soles of the feet on the earth. Make sure there's enough room behind you. And you can reach for the back of your thighs or arms out in front of you. Tuck your chin towards your chest and slowly, slowly roll all the way back. Now bend your knees and bring your heels closer to your hips. Palms down alongside your body. Take a deep breath in and then breathe out. Bring your hips up to the sky for bridge. Eye gaze goes down the center line of your body. And then lower it back down. We'll take that one more time. Take a deep breath in and then breathe out. Press your hips up. And slowly lower it all the way down. And keep your legs bent. Take your right foot up and cross the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Press your right knee forward with your hand. You can stay here or option to reach for the back of the left thigh. Bring your knees closer towards your chest. You can close your eyes here. And, and open up your arms. You can open them up to a T or goal post them. And then slowly let your knees drift over towards the left side for a supine twist. Now keep your shoulders on the earth. You can keep the back of the head on the earth or you can look for your right hand to complete the twist in your spine. And then send breath to your right side body. And then slowly come out of that, bring your knees back through center. And then uncross your left foot and take your, your right foot rather, and then take your left ankle and put it on top of your right thigh. And take your hand, press your left knee away. And then you can stay here or reach through and reach for the back of the right thigh or the shin even. Relax your head back. And then open your arms to a T or goal post them. And then slowly let your knees drift all the way towards the right side. Keep both shoulders on the ground. And then here as well, you can keep the back of your head on the earth or you can look, look for your left hand to complete the twist in your spine. You can keep your eyes closed and then send breath to the left side of your body for a supine twist. And supine twists are really good for neutralizing out the spine. So if you're having any kind of low back pain, I highly recommend just laying down for a little bit and doing a supine twist. Slowly come back through center and cross your legs. Keep both knees bent, bring your knees towards your chest, wrap your arms around your knees, hug your knees in, make a nice tight ball. And then relax your legs, arms down. For a final Shavasana, where you get to just lay, completely relax all muscles now. Let your body soak up all the benefits from the stretches. Do a scan of your body. 
Relax your ankles. Relax your thighs. Relax your belly. Let your hips fall heavy into the earth. Relax your hands. And let your shoulders fall heavy. And unhinge your jaw. Relax the tongue from the roof of your mouth. And unfurl your brow. And just breathe. Slowly start to bring movement back into your fingers and your toes. You can rock your head side to side. And then stretch your arms. Make sure you've got enough room for a good morning stretch. And then rock to one side. And then slowly press yourself back up to a seated position. We're going to end class with four to four breaths. That's inhaling through the nose on the count of four and exhaling back out through the nose to the count of four as well. So you can relax your hands, bring your chin parallel to the earth. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale back out the nose. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. And bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your chest. May this practice heal and strengthen your body and mind. May this practice heal and strengthen your body and mind. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Senior, for being here today. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Great. Awesome. Great, everybody, and hope to see you again next time.